Lucy here, new episode of Chord Play. This is the Chords of Average White Band, and I've had some requests to feature more funk music, and if you search around on the channel, you'll find lots of, you know, lessons and material related to funk, including, uh, you know, Chord Play for Jimmy Nolan, you know, the guitarist with James Brown. There's Funkadelic, Finding Funk Chords, even some funk rock from people like, you know, Red Hot Chili Peppers. But definitely, Average White Band's a really cool group, and they formed in Dundee, Scotland in 1972, and just erupted in the 70s, thanks in part to their hit single, Pick Up the Pieces, which hit the Billboard charts, and it was a favorite on radio. And it's really rare for an instrumental song to do anything on the charts or on radio. And definitely Pick Up the Pieces just exploded. So I did a little digging as far as the origin of the band name, because I've always wondered, like, why did they name themselves Average White Band? But apparently a friend caught one of their early rehearsals before they even had a name. And when they stopped and they asked him, hey, what do you think? He literally, he was overwhelmed. He was like, this is too much for the average white man. Apparently the band thought that was hilarious, and then they, you know, changed it to average white band. And in 1975, James Brown acknowledged this group, and he released a single called Pick Up the Pieces One by One, and it was composed or, you know, released as Above Average Black Band, which was James Brown literally nodding his hat or tipping his hat toward average white band. I always thought that was kind of funny. I shared that image at the beginning of the video. This is 100% clean, so there's no overdrive or fuzz or distortion or anything like that. It's all clean tones. I'm also using the MXR Dynacomp just to kind of give it that funky 70s kind of squish. And also, uh, you know, as far as digging into funk, you know, music, you're going to learn lots of partial chords and these little fragments of chords. And it's a very rhythmically demanding style, so if you're not really hip to funk yet, this is a great, you know, kind of introduction to the style. You'll get used to some of the kind of scratchy, you know, muted strums and stuff like that, and sliding into chords and these kind of jazzy extensions that you'll find in funk music. The music and examples in this episode are going to revolve around the first two Average White Band albums, even though they definitely continued, you know, well into the 70s and into the 80s even, and they're still together today, even though I think there's just a handful of original members, but they're still active. With the opening, that's the song Cut the Cake from the album by the same name, and this was actually featured in the Finding Funk Chords episode of Chord Play, which that's very early on the channel. But Cut the Cake's awesome, and something like this. <laughs> basically sliding from uh, C sharp 7 into D7 right there and this is a very demanding rhythm part it's all over the place but there's C sharp 7 to D7 I guess you could also think of that as D flat 7 like that and then right there you're just barring the 12th fret on the D G and B strings like a partial G chord right there and then right there you're gonna bar the 10th fret on the low E, A, D, and G strings, and then hammer on uh, that F sharp and A on the 11th fret on the G and 12th fret on the A right there, like that. So really slowly, and then right there, move all the way down to a D9 right there. So right there, the first pass. And on that D9, you're gonna play the root and then the top part of the chord. Start that first part again, and then right there you're going to move back after that hammer on to that D7, you're going to move back to the C9 right there, very popular chord with Jimi Hendrix. You're going to strum that. So right there, the first pass through, go back to that slide back into D7. There you're just sliding sixths uh, like Steve Cropper, and then right there you hear this partial C. I'm sorry, partial G move to a partial C. And you hear the bass, you know, kind of answering that, and then it starts all over. Next up is the song Person to Person from the first Average White Band album, the self-titled album. 
And one thing you're going to pick up from studying average white band's music is this interplay between the guitarists, because in a lot of their songs, especially back in the 70s, you usually had one guitarist strumming a chord, some sort of a chord fragment or a funky, you know, fragment of a chord. The other guitarist would typically play like single note lines and riffs and stuff underneath it. And then it comes together with the bass and the drums and the horns and the keys and everything else, and it's magic. But on person to person, you hear one guitar doing this. Something like that. And that's really just a part of a C sharp minor seven. But it's really just that part. So there's one guitar just skanking on the top strings right there. other guitar and the bass, I'm going to loop that with the TC Electronic Diddle Looper. So here's the skank guitar. And then you hear this, you know, bass and uh, second guitar doing this. C sharp. And kind of walking up. And then you hear like slides in there and some rhythmic kind of hiccups. That kind of stuff. And that skanky. And that skanky C sharp minor 7 partial chords just, you know, filling out the mix right there. Really funky. Next up is the song Work To Do from the first Average White Band album. And another thing you're going to pick up or acquire from studying, you know, funk guitar and funk music are just all these variations and mutations of chords. All these little partial chords and fragments all over the fretboard. And this is a good example of that. Something like this. <laughs> basically playing C sharp and B, but it's kind of camouflaged because right there you've got this. And that's going to feel a little bit like the 70s chord inversion that we featured a lot on this channel. Think Keith Richards and, you know, Bad Company, a lot of those bands, you know, this. But that's not what we're doing. That third finger is actually over on the G string right there. That's going to basically function differently. There's C sharp major right there, like a C sharp over G sharp. And then we're adding these two additional notes. So that's the sus4 and also the sus2 of C sharp. So you can think of that as a C sharp sus2 sus4. You could also think of that as a C sharp sus4 add 9. And then you're going to hear that move down a whole step. So it's the same thing, but now in the key of B. So now it's a B. Uh, sus2, sus4, or you can think of that as a B, sus, what, sus4, add 9, like that. And you got that kind of funky rhythm. Next up is Got the Love from the first Average White Band album, and it opens with this wah guitar part, something like this. But it does that a few times, and then you hear the rhythm kind of start like this. You know, really funky and intense. So right there, it's basically an implied uh, E minor 7 right there just sliding into that like D you know chord form but it's up on the seventh fret right there and right there slide into a partial A major and right there it's A major you're grabbing the B right there the ninth and then you hear the 
hear that E on the B string change to F sharp, the six. So it's a really slow. And then do the first part again. And the second time, just stay on that A. And at the end, you want to change to that A11 right there. Add that F sharp. So it's really cool. Once again, if I loop all the background information, mainly the bass part in Got the Love, you can really hear how that guitar part comes to life. So here's the bass part basically looped on the TC Electronic Fiddle Looper. Moving from E to A, and then you hear him. cool guitar part and I love when you hear it you know together like that the bass the guitars you know kind of coming together and you're definitely missing the drums and the horns and everything else in there but then when you start layering these parts together you really hear that song come to life next up is Groovin' the Night Away from the Cut the Cake album and this features that funky interplay between guitars you know an uh, average white band so one guitar is basically doing this <laughs> There's just a partial F sharp nine. But we're not playing the root note, it's really just the top four strings right there. And you're just, you know, kind of hitting it kind of hard there. And that's one guitar, so I'm gonna loop that. And then the other guitar is playing this single note idea in open position. And they're also picking kind of closer to the bridge because it has that twangy kind of open string sound like this. And when you put those guitars together, you hear that funk magic come to life. is pick up the pieces from the first average white band album and once again there's all this funky guitar interplay between you know different guitarists so the opening you have one guitar basically just hopelessly strumming you know a 16th note pattern on this opening chord it's a c11 sharp 9 and then the other guitar is doing this kind of i hear it in like a little bit of vibrato even maybe on the root note and he's really just kind of centering on the top part like this <laughs> the closest I can get to you know playing both of those guitar parts at the same time because you're definitely hearing one doing this and then you hear that other one and when you put it together then you definitely hear it split and you hear one guitar doing this basically a partial uh, F minor 7 right there. We're just playing that part. So I'm going to loop that part where the TC Electronic did a looper, which is right here. And then you hear the second guitar come in with this really cool part like this. of strums in there. So it's really
really, you know, kind of compact riff. It's really cool. I'm a sucker for parts like that. It's really cool. All right, that's going to wrap this episode of Chord Play with the Chords of Average White Band. And one of the few times I can actually claim that we've just covered a Scottish funk band, which is very unusual, but also very inspiring and cool to notice, like, you know, it came from Scotland. It definitely dominated and blew up in the U.S. I think they actually moved over. I think, were they in L.A. or New York? I can't remember where their base of operations was in the 70s. But they were huge. They probably were out in California, pretty sure. But uh, really cool interplay between the guitarists. And then when you hear the whole band, the drums, the horns, the bass, the keys, the vocals, not to mention the guitars, it's just this powerhouse sound where it's like, wow, listen to all that. All the interplay, everything's kind of twisting and moving around and, you know, feeding off itself or whatever. Really cool. I love funk music, for sure. So anyway, leave some feedback and comments. Please subscribe to Lessons, and I'll be back before you know with more content and material. Thank you.